Oh boy, has it been a while? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to What Make Up. If you're new here, then hi, I'm Bon, and welcome to my channel. I think I'm probably welcoming myself in a way to this channel because it's been a hot minute that I sat here and I uploaded a video, and uh, I don't know what got into me, and it has been kind of brewing up in my mind for a while that I wanted to obviously get back to shooting YouTube and shooting more videos and everything, but something just got into me today that i was like i need to do it today i want to shoot a video today here um, set it all up and here i am so uh today's video is just gonna be a very very cash session of you know just getting to know where i've been what i've been doing what my life has been like uh where i've been all this while it's it's been a long time since i was active on my channel and there's a lot that's happened on the background quick disclaimer this video might come across as a little bit of a rant or a vent session to some of you because it's been a while that i've sat by myself completely you know uh with a camera thinking about my entire like you know what my life has been like in in the last one and a half years and uh, since i got back from shooting my last video to now and there's so much that's happened uh, and I just have so much to share so if it does come across like that I apologize but I just have a lot to share and I also obviously have a little bit of makeup stuff to also talk about this is the face that I'm going to like put on uh, on camera and show you guys this is my most everyday regular basic makeup that I have been doing the most often apart from you know the heavy like formal parties and get-togethers there's very limited of that here and there but whenever i do have a little bit of an errand to run or i just want a basic face that kind of looks like put together this is the one that i do and with the products that i have so i'm going to get into all of that as well so if you guys are interested and want to have a little bit of story time catch up with me and also know about all the products that i have to share with you then please continue watching i'm going to get into like a very basic routine that I mostly stick with because I have a lot of you know school you know pick up drops events to run and I usually don't do a lot of makeup through the day so I'm just going to talk about some of the favorite products that I kind of love on the daily and that you can try out if you are like me and you don't really want a full face of makeup and while I talk through like what I'm applying on my face I will kind of catch up with you guys tell you all about what's been happening uh, i might not go into the details of what i'm using i'm going to list down everything in the description box so i'm first going to apply my moisturizer i have applied a little bit but i'm kind of feeling a little dry i have my mirror over here so if anyone's wondering where i'm looking at i'm looking over here i'm also going to try and remind myself to look in the camera because it's been a while that i've shot videos and there are just too many screens and it's kind of distracting and I'm also trying to not focus on the outside noise because you know I can hear Miranya saying like where's mama and uh, it's not a usual scene for them also to not see me at a long stretch. Uh, let me first apply my moisturizer. Oh, before I forget the moisturizer that I'm using. This is uh, Ula Hendrickson. Oh wait. I'm going to try and remember how I focused. Uh, basically, I'm going to hold my hand at the back and I don't know if it's going to catch up at the back. Yeah, there we go. So that is the Ula Hendrickson Strength Trainer Peptide Moisturizer. Uh, it's actually not a very nice moisturizer for the summers, but I have dry skin. So I kind of like go on with a little heavy hand because my skin tends to get even more dry when i step out you know in the sun and everything so i'm just going with a light hand of that i usually go in with a sunscreen i'm trying out this new sunscreen from quench this is that i don't know if you guys have seen the promos of karina kapoor you know there's a new brand i'm not sure if she's a founder of this brand but i've i've sure seen a lot of pictures of her with this and maybe she endorses this so I have to get like the info of the background of this brand but it's kind of nice like a very no white cast very very comfortable sunscreen to wear I'm just going to take out a little bit because I don't think I'm going out in the sun right now and sunscreen is something that you should apply on the daily irrespective of you stepping out or not so I'm just applying a little bit but yeah so uh, basically where do I begin from? I think if you have following me on my channel for a while and you maybe have seen you know my videos from the beginning to the last few I think maybe about four or five videos 
that I shot at the end. Uh, you can kind of make up, they are very spaced out, you know, I've shot them at random months of uh, the year, maybe it's 2023 or I think following from 22 to 23 because 23 is when we moved here, yeah, so, um, or 22 was the year we moved here. I can't remember yeah I think 22 because Miranya turned one over here she's 21 born so yeah so it's I think 22 is when we moved here and it's been about it's going to be close to two years now that we moved so if you see my videos you know they're like not really like planned and timed and in the sense like I was just posting randomly whenever I could and you know there's a long story because of course a lot happens in the background and I'm sure it's with all content creators, you know, you don't end up showing and, uh, you know, revealing a lot that happens in the background. What you spend, you know, your time shooting video is just about, what, like 10, 15 minutes of the day. And there's a lot more that goes behind. And for me, I think, you know, the longer story is, of course, a lot of things, factors, school, routines, timings, just being a mom full time. But the crux of it basically is that, you know, once I moved bases and um, I did go into the details about it in my previous videos, I'm going to link some of them over here on the screen through this video. So you have some context. But basically, once I moved bases, I was living with, you know, in a joint family. I was married into like a larger setup. You know, I had my in-laws and, you know, my other family members living with me. Uh, we moved bases to Gurgaon because my husband's work really had increase like by many folds over here and there was not a lot of traveling that he could keep up with and once we moved here this is like a nuclear setup you know we have our own home uh, you know my kids are here I have helps but I think I got just suddenly introduced to a life that I won't say that I wasn't prepared for I mean I, I am from a nuclear background my father was in the army I've always lived with my parents and never in a joint setup so it was not like it was a new life but this was definitely the first time I was you know managing a home and like staying with uh, you know with my kids all by myself I had to you know find out who's uh, you know coming to cook who's my maid and you know if she's coming regularly are the helps doing the work that they're supposed to do you know if there is uh, you know enough grocery or that all khatam ho gaya ya vanish nahi hai ya let me get some liquid detergent because the washing machine has to run and there were just i think endless things you know getting acs repaired and small to big to large to you know very very petty things i just think I lost that mind space where like this I can just come and sit in a room and shoot a video and just cut off from the world outside. Uh, I don't think I could have done that and also I think today like what age Miranya is so she's two and a half years old and she's going to start going to school now in April. Miranya was a lot younger that time and I just was a mom you know who didn't want to send her kids to a daycare. I've never sent my kids to daycare Rishan also went to a play school for a few hours and he would come back home and uh, Mirana was young and she you know she's out and about in the house and I kind of uh, always felt like you know what if you know amidst my shooting videos and doing all this YouTube and all I'm going to miss out on her moments and her growing up and uh, I'm, I'm just generally a very I think I, I indulge myself in my kids and I love having them to myself and even right now like for me to shoot this video uh, you know talking about the things that I am doing this is almost like <laughs> it's almost like a therapy because I'm kind of letting my heart out and I'm talking about my mind and where I've been but um, if any of you who's watching this video and is a mother or is going to be a mom or has been a mom of kids uh, you guys know that uh, it's it's a very mixed doubles kind of a life you don't really know like you're living like two lives you're you're giving yourself fully to your kids and you want to be there but you also want to step back and pull in some time for yourself i'm going to go into the corrector because like this i think i'll be staying with moisturizer on my face all day uh i don't think i ever regret or i i mean i look back to the entire time that i've been off youtube i don't think i felt like you know oh my god my youtube like i just stopped doing it and i miss it 
there were some fragments of my you know my my entire duration during this point where i miss youtube a, a little bit you know when i would watch videos from my favorite content creators that i've been following for so many years um i kind of liked watching the video and you know when the video would not come i would feel like you know what like what the hell you know where are where are the videos so i can obviously relate to that feeling but at the same time i think i loved being completely present for my kids and completely just present living the life that i had i wasn't trying to fulfill any obligation of um shooting a video for you know for just the sake of it and just putting out content just for the sake of it because i had to shoot a you know a piece of content and i have to upload for something uh i have always felt like youtube is a place where i'm going to you know do content and create content and push out stuff you know show everything that i have uh relating to what is honest and what i really feel like and not just for the sake of it and my last videos were like kind of a struggle that's why because i was just trying to shoot like something and you know come up with some topic and shoot a video so coming to the corrector that i'm using i started applying the rare beauty corrector i think this is in the shade medium tan medium tan rare beauty is now in india and so are so many brands uh you know launched on tira and even on nika i'm like so excited everything is kind of expensive but i think makeup generally has just generally become expensive life has become expensive gurgaon for sure is very very expensive a place uh to live i we, we probably did not realize that but it kind of is like not very i would say like comparing my general finances in a month with kids and everything what we had before and now i mean gurgaon is quite an expensive city with all the amenities that you really need so i've applied the corrector under my eyes and this is honestly one of the best correctors that doesn't look like like one of those orange correctors it kind of looks like a concealer shade but it's slightly on the darker side so it kind of counteracts the blueness and the dark uh, you know the darkness that you ha might have under your eyes and i'm just going to push that with my beauty blender so you can see like how my eyes looks right now it kind of looks a little more even toned and on top of this you can go in with your tinted moisturizer or you can go in with just some concealer like i will because i do feel like just this corrector kind of looks a little i don't know like i can make out the the variation in my skin over here but maybe not on the camera but it's just like kind of going to counteract the darkness and above this now i will go with Uh, so there are two options you can use like a tinted uh, foundation something like this this is from neutrogena so this is the serum foundation by neutrogena again not available in india yet i hope it comes but it's a very very nice lightweight foundation so sometimes i go with a couple of drops of this over my face if i have to like do something more than just picking up my kids or you can even go in with a tinted uh, sunscreen or any moisturizer that you have this is from kosas this is also not available in india but there are lots of other options that you get i think maybelli has done this fit me tinted version and there are a lot of like options that you get in the market so you can apply something like that what i technically end up doing is i just take a concealer so this is nars uh, radiant creamy concealer you get this in india now how how amazing is that i think you get it on i'm not going to confuse the platforms but i think you get it on nika i don't think nars is on tira i think it's laura mercier that's on tira but yeah yeah i think it's on nika so i have this in the shade ginger the shades that i usually end up using is either biscuit because it's got a little bit of that orange tone so you kind of have like a concealer cum corrector shade that works for you but if you like me you know you've applied like a like a kind of a corrector shade below what i usually do is i just go in with a little bit of concealer like this and you know just under my eyes like so and on the other side as well and a little bit on my face here and there so that it doesn't look like i have just something under my eyes and nothing on the rest of my face just to make it a little more even and this is like probably one of the quickest forms of makeup 
that you can end up doing you know i've i've worn this face to you know parent teacher meets like you know places like that or maybe just going out for a play date with another child's mom or um, yeah like places like occasions like that you know you don't where you don't need a lot of makeup and if you if you just want to look like a little bit put together so i just then blend this out like this it kind of looks a little more on the whitish side right now but once i set it with powder it's going to look completely fine so apart from what i've been up to i think what awaits for me is a very very a very very updated routine because now my both kids are going to go to school so that's the reason i found the motivation to shoot this video and i am hopeful that i'm going to find in more time in the coming you know weeks and as their days start uh, you know mirane will be gone for about 4 plus hours rishan will also be gone for like 5 plus hours so i will have some time in the day and uh, it's it's you know uh, another thing that i'm also coming to realize now you know especially also now that i'm shooting this video that i don't think i can keep my channel also very limited to makeup though it's going to consist primarily about makeup and makeup stuff and like products and moisturizers and everything about beauty and all of that because that's what i uh, enjoy doing at the end of the day and i kind of lost my you know way around it because firstly there's a lot to talk about and secondly there's a different kind of life that you're living on the side as a mother and i feel that somewhere i have to kind of find a balance between the two and i cannot keep my content also very very focused on you know just makeup and you know what's the next you know great blush and what's the next best powder and what's the best best next uh, sunscreen and all of that i think i might have to do like a little bit of mother related content because <laughs> my life is 90% a mom and i think 10% now you know revolving around makeup it's just when i'm stepping out or if i have somewhere to go if i'm getting ready for some place uh, only then i'm reaching out to you know trying out things and finding out you know what's happening and what what's new in the market but apart from that i'm honestly in a bun the entire day sitting watching uh, you know paw patrol and god knows what all these kids are watching nowadays and uh, i don't really delve into a lot of makeup in the daily so i'm going to try and find a good balance and it's not to say that mothers have it harder than others uh, i'm not trying to claim that you know motherhood is the toughest job of the world i'm sure everyone in every field that whatever they do it's tough and it has its own challenges but uh, when it comes to being a mom and when it comes to being a woman in general you look for a lot of community you look for people you know who are like minded uh, who are going through the same phase as you are in your life you probably have the same challenges and you're able to kind of relate that's why you know that's how generally the society is like and as a mother i think one a, a very very common thing that i can see between the two which is uh, a very very distincting factor is the fact that creating content like this you know sitting in a room and talking to the camera uh, is as isolating as sometimes motherhood can be and um, i'm actually someone who is quite happy in a space of being by myself so my kids really keep me entertained i don't get bored i don't feel lonely when i'm with them and around them and i don't feel like oh my god what am i doing in the day i'm just sitting and my kids are playing and they're watching tv like i love it i love when they are playing and talking to each other and you know they are doing different kind of theatrics and <laughs> it's just a lot of fun to enjoy but during the times when they are away so when they are in school or when mirana is taking a nap or they are away you know maybe for a birthday party or they've gone downstairs in the park to play or you know things like that when he's gone for his classes those are the times when i suddenly felt like you know like a snap like what am i doing you know i'm so alone and i have uh, really nothing to keep me going and what should i do with this free time and that free time is such such a little span which is good and bad where you feel like you know within no time your kids are back home and you are again busy but it's a very recurring thing you know they are constantly going to be away doing different kind of things through the day so you have that 
that feeling and that moment coming in and going out you know it's like a wave it's coming in and going out and through this entire period i i kind of realized the fact that creating content and you know shooting youtube videos like this and as well as motherhood can be very very isolating for a lot of people and that's the reason why we kind of find uh, you know uh, it's essential to find actually a balance between the two because this is one thing that you're doing for yourself and it makes you happy it keeps you busy and the other thing is also something that keeps you busy and happy but it has its life and a mind of its own and there are some days that can really get on to you you know motherhood is rewarding it's gratifying it's something that makes you so happy but it can really be um you know like very very exhausting and uh, demanding and uh, i mean to the point of like you 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 just want to tear the hair off your head like it you have those points and moments through the day so i i feel that now onwards you know whenever i shoot my videos and whenever i am able to create content i want to be fully present and fully aware of what i'm doing because what i used to do before was a very half hearted job like i would come in shoot a video but my mind is outside so i was just trying to get done with it just say anything on the video share anything that i don't even have uh, not like planned you know beforehand and i just step out because my kids need me so even right now like i can i can hear rishan's <laughs> rishan constantly asking my nanny that where is mama and she's telling him that mama work karne gaye so he's like work what is that and since when did she start doing that just i didn't realize i was not recording but i've not really done anything i've just basically taken up a little bit of loose powder this is from laura mercier and i have just kind of dusted my under eyes and you know the areas where i applied a little bit of concealer and kind of taken it across my face just to kind of even tone it out because even with the concealer it might move uh, you know through the day because it's after all a cream or a liquid concealer whatever you're using so powder is just going to set it a little bit and also not make it look very oily uh, if you have oily skin so i'm just taking a little bit and doing that and uh, you can automatically see like my face looks very not very shiny like matte and uh, like a little more even toned overall and the concealer and the skin kind of looks cohesive so i didn't like i uh, showed you i didn't use any foundation or serums or anything i just went on with concealer and you can see like if you want your days to not involve a lot of makeup and you don't want to feel heavy also on your skin i think just a corrector and if you don't need a corrector i think just a concealer is just fine strangely i've also come to realize that you know with every age there are just newer <laughs> and much more varied challenges that you keep thinking that you know oh when your child is of this age you can get to doing this when your child is of that age you can get to doing that and i remember when rishan was almost 8 or 9 months old is uh, when i first shot my youtube video for this channel and uh, you know he probably just had started walking or something he was 8 or 9 months old and i used to think that you know it's it's easy you know he's going to be playing and he's just going to be busy and around and the older he grows the more time i will have because the more busy he's going to get and that is true but up until the age of i think 5 or 6 and when the child is completely independent you know they are kind of having their own routine friends you know classes to go etc you are kind of around this 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 person you know who obviously has a mind and uh, you know has a has a entire like thought process to him or her and they have their own choices and they you know just get smarter with every age as they learn to communicate they also learn how to negotiate and bargain and question you and ask for logics and it it really doesn't get easy and by the time you want them to grow to an age where they understand everything and they are independent they are grown up and then you suddenly realize that you miss your kids so much i in fact even right now i'm going in with some little bit of blush to just add some color this is um kiss of pink 
by bare minerals i am not sure again this is available in india but you can use any neutral brush uh, brush <laughs> any neutral blush that kind of does not look very very jarring on the face but just adds a little bit of color and i'm going to apply this on the high points of my face like this so coming back to what i was talking about you know my both kids i started youtube at a time when rishan was 8 or 9 months old and now miranya is uh, two and a half and i kind of waited for her to grow up a little bit so that you know i end up having more time and i'm able to manage things a lot better a lot better and she is also going to get busy with her school and stuff but now that i look back i i really feel like where did rishan's growing years go you know i look at his older videos and pictures and he was such a tiny little boy you know roaming around uh right behind me and asking me you know what i'm doing and always asking for godi and wants to be with me and they are so clingy and miranya is actually also going through that phase you know she is two and a half she's still not three probably by the age of 3 3 and a half and they are really in um uh, you know early years of school they kind of start becoming a little independent you know they play with their own games and they start doing their own things but before that uh I'm not sure if you relate you know as a mom but if you have a child you know who looks at you and who's like mama I want mama right now Miranya is exactly that kid at this point and I love it I really love the fact that her eyes light up you know when I enter the room and when I am there and she's so happy and she doesn't want anyone with me but of course like that has its pros and cons because that also means that stepping away from her is tough uh for me to just tell her and explain her and you know try and reason with her that manu just be here for a little bit let mama do this let mama go there and do finish that let me finish eating my food let me go take a bath she is not understanding anything she just knows that mama is here and she is here to be and she has to be here and she has to sit with me and she has to do everything so it's such a strange like phase in general and you you love it you kind of not love it you, you you never reach to a point that you are angry about it but it exhausts you it exhausts you the the level of clinginess and the level of they desiring you but even despite all of that i never really had um you know the motivation or the encouragement or the mindset to put her in daycare and just not have her around in the house and i can understand for working parents how it's essential to not have children at home because it can be so distracting and i mean look at me i mean i could not shoot a single video for a year uh it's a lot more when you have calls when you have you know work videos you have things to deliver it's a job that you have to get up to every day it's not something that you do out of choice um uh, making content is obviously at the end of the day a matter of choice it's definitely a matter of planning but it is something that you're doing for yourself but if you are someone who is in a salary job and um if you're someone who has to pay the bills and who has to go and show up at work and you just can't be absent or not show up at work and not you know take your next work meeting or your work call just because your child is cranky uh, it just doesn't happen like that you don't have that choice so i can definitely understand how tough um it can get for parents and people who are working from home and um who are in remote roles and um it's difficult to step away from your kids and especially if you're someone like me who loves having kids around but also needs to function separately and independently as a person is definitely tough i've applied my blush a little bit on my nose also because uh it kind of brings that warmth to the face and it doesn't make you look like you are just glowing over here so a little bit what's left on the brush i just brush it on my nose like this and uh, if you think it's a little bit too much you can just maybe take the blender put it on the top and all and yeah that's where i am at with my kids my life uh and i don't do really much for my brows and my makeup in general i just comb them a little bit i do fill in when i have like some dinners or like some more formal functions but otherwise i don't thread my brows these are my brows naturally thanks to my mom for combing them with a comb when i was uh, a young girl and i do that to my daughter also i don't know if it helps but it kind of you know 
makes it look very natural and uh, you don't really have to do much i don't even plug them in anymore it's just how it is at this point and you can finish off with some kajal i don't go with uh, any coal or any liner in my waterline because i felt that it just kind of irritates my eyes a lot more now i don't know if this is something post pregnancy because i've been also you know i've uh, been reading up and I've, i've come across moms who are very very sensitive to mascaras and any eye product after you know having a having a baby and i don't know if it's something to do with your body or certain chemicals that don't suit you but i basically just take a chocolate color of a liner like something like this this is from kiko it's a very old one i don't i don't know if you get it maybe at the store but i can't see kiko or nike anymore so this is like a dark brownish color i don't go with black because black is very harsh and for someone like me in, in a dusky like skin tone range brown is something that looks a lot more like you can look at my eyes it looks a lot more soothing it looks more blended and it looks a lot softer in general than black and i just like very lightly apply a little bit on the top of my eyes and after this i apply some mascara it's optional if you don't want to apply mascara you don't have to i'm just showing you for the effect of it because mascara is definitely something that just lifts up like look at my face it just looks so like prepped and ready to go and i look like a spring chicken bird so lively like look at my face it it's it, it really pulls your face together applying a little bit on my right side as well and it looks so fresh and nice and last but not the least i go in with a very very pale or a nude kind of a lipstick no color that's the most comfortable that i can be because if i end up uh, eating my lipstick and most likely i will do it because i end up biting my lips a lot i'm i'm i've forever been biting my lips i end up usually putting or keeping a lipstick that kind of looks like sorry that kind of looks like my lips but better so this shade is number 61 mischief from the mac uh what is this called locked kiss these are very nice like bougie packaging you know it just feels very nice to hold and even the lock sound is also very nice like very nice asmr satisfaction and uh that's the expiry date that i've written on the top because i i've just started doing this with all my makeup i write the expiry date because i've gotten to the point where certain times i've had skin reactions and i don't know uh if that makeup is old or not and i just keep on using it so now with a date i can just generally keep a follow up as to how much life this has this again like you can see it's a very neutral very very extremely natural like a lip color and it dries down so it doesn't transfer that is again like a plus point it doesn't transfer let me wait to try this mm it doesn't transfer at all it kind of comes on your lips like a little bit glossy and like a semi matte like a cream matte but it dries down completely matte and it's a comfortable matte it doesn't feel like the drying kind of matte or you need to go in with some lip balm and all and i have dry lips but this is a lipstick that kind of stays put for a very very long time so if you guys are looking for lipsticks that uh, are long lasting but don't get off your face uh, with you know like the whole transfer problem and also are comfortable to wear uh, try out the range from mac lock kiss these lipsticks are nice i think i have three colors of them i'll do a separate video on that but this one is mischief uh, and i will obviously list all the details in the description box below and uh, yeah this is my face full face of my general everyday makeup this is the most basic makeup that you can probably uh, get to wear for yourself if you have very very small you know occasions and very very like you know you don't really want to do go into the whole shebang of doing your makeup the 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 whole process and everything i think this is like a very wearable nice face and I think the key point is just keeping it very neutral. Don't go in with a lot of product. Less is more. Uh, a nice 
dusty rose kind of a blush is just fine i have not contoured not bronzed my face it's not required you don't need it if you're a mama and if you're busy you don't need bronzers and contours you are you're absolutely fine with just a good blush and uh, yeah like a nude lipstick and everything just like uh, even a gloss is fine if you're good with that if you enjoyed watching this video then make sure to thumbs it up and if you are new to my channel and want to watch more videos from me and what makeup then make sure you subscribe and also don't forget to hit the notifications bell because you want to know whenever i upload a video or post on my channel you want to be notified so make sure you hit that bell icon i'm going to see you guys soon i hope you're all doing well sending you lots of love i will see you soon bye